Hi guys, this is Saurav here and welcome to Online Partshala Vedanto's initiative to make education accessible to all the students out there. This online initiative has been our like the benchmark for everybody else to follow and in this session we will be discussing about liquid solutions. Liquid solutions, we are currently doing the topic liquid solutions of physical chemistry and we have until now finished 7 sessions in which we have already discussed about vapor pressure, relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation boiling point, depression freezing point, osmotic pressure and like last session was on osmotic pressure. Hello I, uh, guys and this session is about abnormalities that we observe in measurement of colligative properties. Okay, so yes, are your abnormalities kyun aate hain? and these abnormalities, <coughs> these abnormalities come due to something known as Vantov factor. We'll talk about what is Vantov factor. Let's talk about what this is. But before that, I have a small message for you guys that our learning app is one of the best in the country. I would say the best in the country because we have like a lot of practice tests, obsession PDFs, a lot of videos over there for you to like ace the examination that you want to. Also, the current sessions that are conducted are in the chronological order that physics was taken by Fikasa. Now it's my session. So please wait for Pulkitsa session because he'd be teaching, I guess, inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start with Vantov factor and identify what Vantov factor is. So let's see what is Vantov factor. So what, first we know what is meant by deviation in colligative properties. So colligative properties are due to the amount of substance which is present in the solution. Now imagine the substance imparting a certain change in colligative properties as in like vapor pressure increase or a boiling point uh, sorry vapor pressure decrease or a boiling point increase or a and freezing point is decreasing osmotic pressure is changing because of these solutes which are present. Now it is sometimes observed that the uh, theoretical estimation and the experimental observations are different. Why is there a difference? Okay. Why is there a difference? Sometimes the solute particles exhibit association or dissociation. Many a times what happens is that if you have to sodium chloride, dala, sodium chloride, you assume that you have dissolved one mole of sodium chloride but sodium chloride dissociates sodium chloride dissociates and since it dissociates it breaks into two substances Na plus Cl minus so one mole effectively gives two moles of particles more particles more change in the observation so sometimes the solute particles exhibit association and dissociation and due to this the number of solute particle changes this point, point is very important the number of solute particle changes changing the colligative properties changing the colligative properties aapne assume kiya ki one mole aapne dissolve kiya hai but what is getting dissolved is two moles of substances if the substance dissociates you are assuming that one mole is dissolved but let's say association takes place then the extent of association pe aapka colligative properties change kar jayega okay so, <clears throat> 11th class ki sessions uh, hoti hai Tuesday, Thursday and if I'm not wrong, Saturday and 12th standard sessions are conducted on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Okay. So, we will discuss azeotropic mix mixture in the next class. Okay. We will discuss azeotropic mixture in the next class. So, let's talk about what is Vantov factor. Now, since there is a difference, ek difference aa jane pe, how do we make sense of that difference? To eliminate the error due to this possibility. So the observed colligative property and the calculated are different from each other. And to eliminate this error, we introduce something known as Van Hoff factor. We introduce something known as Van Hoff factor. Let's see what Van Hoff factor is. So what is Van Hoff factor? So Van Hoff factor is a ratio of the actual number of particles and the calculated number of particles for example you take one mole of a particular salt let's say you take uh, let me take an example so you take one mole 
of any CL which is 58.5 grams so you take 58.5 grams you assume ki apne one mole liya hai but jaisi apne usko water mein add kiya it will dissociate and it will produce two moles of particles because this substance dissociates this substance dissociates so it is the ratio between the actual concentration of particles produced when a substance is dissolved and the concentration is calculated from its mass so i take 58.5 grams of NaCl and I think कि यार मैंने तो 58 one mole लिया है one mole ही present होना चाहिए लेकिन one mole नहीं रहेगा two moles हो जाएगा क्योंकि this substance dissociates okay this substance dissociates if you have understood this let's understand it in this manner in the mathematical way initial colligative property is proportional to the number of moles that you have dissolved final colligative property is the total number of moles which is actually present after dissociation or association dono ka ratio jab hum lete hain then i get a term called i and this term i is known as van t hoff factor this term i is known as van t hoff factor remember it is final minus initial or you can say observed by calculated Theor experimental versus theoretical okay experimental versus theoretical is van t hoff factor or final minus initial final by initial is van t hoff factor okay let's move on to what happens when we take into consideration the constant i the term i into consideration so every every colligative property will change and the change will happen like this the observed has to be multi observed will become i times whatever is calculated i times whatever is calculated so your observed will be i times kb times molality del tb observed del tf observed will be i times kb kf times molality okay so remember every colligative property will change you will have to multiply i with whatever you are calculating you have to multiply i with whatever you are calculating so as to understand to what extent this change happens this would happen for relative lowering of vapor pressure as well ab dekh lijiye relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to mole fraction of solute but since it association or dissociation takes place i will take i and multiply it with the mole fraction of solute okay let's take an example suppose i take one mole of c6 h12 o6 this is glucose will glucose dissociate please tell me in the message will glucose dissociate tell me will glucose dissociate can i would water me dissociate karta hai for example you add sugar will it dissociate no it does not dissociate okay it does not dissociate so if i write observed particles by calculated particles this will be equal to 1 okay it will be equal to 1 however if i take 1 mole of let's say magnesium chloride one mole of magnesium chloride so if one mole of magnesium chloride completely dissociates how many particles will it produce so mgcl2 will dissociate to form mg2 plus plus 2 cl minus agar ye complete dissociate karta hai i'll get 3 so you take one mole of substance but effectively how many particles are produced three particles so in this case i will be equal to 3 upon 
3 is what is observed, 1 is what is taken. So it will be 3. Okay, this will be 3. Is that understood? <clears throat> so, Vanthoff factor is the ratio of the number of particles which are produced upon association or dissociation divided by the original number of particles which have been taken. Okay, Kalpana, it will not be 1 by 3, it will be 3 is to 1. Okay, it will be 3 is to 1. Okay, let's understand in what cases we would be using Vanthoff factor and what would be the general way of using them. So the application of Vanthoff factor is in done in two cases. Two cases we use it. One is when association takes place. One is when dissociation takes place. So what happens during association and what happens during dissociation? <clears throat> so a general case, I will write a general case and this is very important. Let's say a substance A is taken. Let's say a substance A is taken and n mole of substance A undergoes association to form A subscript N. Okay. Is that understood? Suppose two moles of A is taken and they associate. Three moles of so yeah, N ki jo value hai, ye depend kare ki kitne moles associate ho rahe hai. N depends on how many moles are associating. So N represents a number of moles which are participating in the process which are undergoing association. Let's say we start with one mole of this initially a zero raga product zero and then one minus beta and this can be written as beta by n. Okay. <clears throat> this will be written as beta by n. So initially it is one and it becomes zero. Now extent of association if is beta beta ko bolte hai, extent of association I'll write over here beta is extent of association this will be a fractional part this will be a fraction less than one okay this will be a fraction less than one extent of association bola jayega. so total number of particles after association can we write 1 minus beta plus beta by n can we write this total number of particles after association 1 minus beta plus beta by n this the amount of this left out in the medium is 1 minus beta the amount of a which is formed a and the dimer the associated unit which is formed is beta by n okay so it will be written as 1 minus beta plus beta by n by 1 because you had dissolved 1. Okay. <clears throat> uh, aap alpha le sakte, but alpha, why, why don't we take alpha for association? Because dissociation ke alpha ab alpha lete hai. So dissociation ka samaj lete hai. Let's say a, b undergo dissociation to form a plus b minus. Okay. Initially, 1 tha ye 0 and 0, and then ye dissociate kiya alpha extent mein, and this will be written as alpha, and this will be written as alpha. Jitne produce honge uske liye alpha alpha likhte jaoge. Okay, we will write it as alpha and alpha, and so i will be equal to kitne particles present hai 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha, that will be 1 plus alpha by 1. Okay, this will be 1 plus alpha plus 1. This you must have read in chemical equilibrium. Ye expression kaha se aata hai? Ye aap chemical equilibrium mein padhe hai. Alpha is the degree of dissociation for one mole of substance. Beta is the degree of dissociation for one mole of substance. Okay, now ye jo n ki value hai, this n will be 2 if dimerization occurs 3 if primerization occurs okay if it undergoes dimerization it will be 2 if it undergoes trimerization it will be 3 okay 
सो इट इज वेरी सिंपल यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस एक्सप्रेशन ये एक्सप्रेशन एक स्टैंडर्ड एक्सप्रेशन है आई को कैलकुलेट करने का दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग आई इफ इट इज अंडर गोइंग एसोसिएशन दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग आई इफ इट इज अंडर गोइंग डिसोसिएशन ओके मैं आपको एक बार फिर से बता देता हूं एसोसिएशन मतलब पार्टिकल्स एसोसिएट होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल हंड्रेड मॉलिकल्स आपने लिया ओके इफ यू टेकन हंड्रेड मॉलिकल्स एंड इफ एसोसिएशन टेक्स प्लेस टू एन एक्सटेंट ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट इसका मतलब क्या होगा कि फिफ्टी मॉलिकल्स फिफ्टी मॉलिकल्स एसोसिएट कर जाएंगे एंड फाइनली हमारे पास फिफ्टी मॉलिकल्स ही प्रेजेंट रहेंगे ओके सो एसोसिएशन एंड डिसोसिएशन आर डिफरेंट एसोसिएशन में पार्टिकल्स के नंबर कम होते हैं एंड डिसोसिएशन पार्टिकल नंबर इंक्रीजेस एसोसिएशन किस लिए होता है ये हम बाद में देखेंगे बट इफ एसोसिएशन टेक्स प्लेस I will write this expression to calculate I. If dissociation takes place, I'll write this expression for calculating I. So association में क्या होता है जितना extent में associate करता है उससे कम particles आपके present रहेंगे Okay? So जितना dissociate किया उससे ज्यादा particles present रहेंगे Okay? So you रिम you have to remember this part and If you are comfortable with this equation, let's move on to one very important idea that whenever you perform association, whenever you perform association, i ki value one se kam hogi. Whenever association takes place, Van't Hoff factor will be less than one. For association, i will be less than one. For dissociation, i will be more than one. okay is that clear let's move on to the next thing so there are certain cases for association and it is very very important okay there are certain cases for association and it is very very important what are those cases the first one is benzoic acid in benzene hamesha yaad rakhiye any carboxylic acid can show association or dissociation Association will take place in non-polar solvents or in air vapor state. So basically, we take carboxylic acids as examples. So carboxylic acids will undergo dissociation in water, and association in non-polar solvents. ओके नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट्स इसको हम बहुत इजी एग्जांपल से समझ सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से यू आर ट्रैवलिंग विद अ फ्रेंड ऑफ योर्स टू अ कंट्री वेयर यू डू नॉट नो द लैंग्वेज लेट्स से यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू अ फॉरेन कंट्री देन यू वुड वांट टू बी विद योर फ्रेंड रादर देन गोइंग आउट एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग द सिटी ऑन योर ओन सो लेट्स से यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू फ्रांस और सम अदर यूरोपियन कंट्री for which you do not know the language then you will want to stay with your friends rather than exploring the city on your own so that is the this is the reason why in a non polar solvent polar entities will want to stay with each other so non polar jo region hai this is non polar region polar particles will want to stay next to each other okay but if you travel to your hometown with your friend you might want to go out and meet other friends of your your childhood friend of yours because that place is already known to you so if this is polar yahan pe ye medium non polar hai and this is polar if you take this polar entity in a polar medium what will happen these particles will separate out and you can go exploring the places okay so this is very very an easy way to remember this a lot of people make mistakes kyunki wo sochte hain ki benzoic acid hamesha associate hi karega acetic acid hamesha associate karega and this is not going to happen okay this is not going to happen 
एसिटिक एसिड विल एसोसिएट इन नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट और इन वेपर स्टेट और बेंजोइक एसिड विल डू दैट इन वेपर स्टेट और नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट बट इन पोलार मीडियम ये लोग डिसोसिएट करेंगे सो so, इसको हमेशा याद रखिए दिस इज वेरी वेरी वाइटल ओके दिस इज वेरी वेरी वाइटल सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज हाउ बेंजोइक एसिड एसोसिएट्स दिस दीज इंट्रैक्शन आर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स You can see that two benzoic acid molecules are interacting with each other. Two benzoic acid molecules are interacting with each other. So this is one another acetic acid molecule. This is another acetic acid molecule. Both are interacting with each other. जब ये लोग दोनों interact कर रहे हैं and they are forming a associated unit. This is known as dimerization. This is known as dimerization. Dimer, okay? <clears throat> Dimer means two units associating. If it would be trimerization, that means three units will associate with each other. Okay? It is intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Yep. It is intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So, let's take up some questions to understand this. Okay? So, let's take this question. of the following 0.1 molar aqueous solution which one will exhibit largest depression largest freezing point depression so largest freezing point depression hame nikalna hai now remember that freezing point depression depends on the number of particles if the number of particles increases the freezing point depression also increase matlab zyada low temperature pe freeze karega okay so if number of particle increase particles increase freezing point decreases so jitna decrease kiya matlab utna depression in freezing point ho raha hai okay so tell me something which will be the answer <coughs> Malti B is incorrect. B is incorrect. Largest freezing point depression, not the largest freezing point. The question is not that largest freezing point. Largest freezing point or highest freezing point means lowest freezing point depression. Try to understand the language of the question. Largest freezing point depression means. okay what it means is lowest freezing point okay lowest freezing point which means more number of particles so more number of particles are required for causing more depression freezing point lowest freezing point depression will mean highest freezing point which means less number of particles okay a hoga kyunki colligative property <laughs> nahi hai a is not the answer a is not the answer pehle dekh lete hain kya hona chahiye thoda acche se samajhiye kcl if dissociates How many ions will be produced? How many ions will be produced if complete dissociation takes place? Two ions. One molecule will produce two ions. So one mole, if I have taken, if I take one mole of it, I will produce two moles of ions. Okay. So in this case, the I value will be two. In this case, the I value will be two. B, take it. C six H twelve O six. Will it undergo dissociation? No, it will not undergo dissociation. So, in this case, I's value one will remain. Okay, it will I's value one will remain. What about K two SO four? K two SO four will dissociate to give two K plus plus SO four two minus. 2k plus plus SO4 2 minus. So 
number of particles produced will be 3 so i will be equal to number of particles produced by the number of moles of particle number of moles of substance dissolved so 3 by 1 that is 3 what about the last one al2so4 whole thrice i would get 2 al3 plus and 3 so4 2 minus okay get the particles milenge jatin very good i will be equal to 5 और हमें मालूम है, and we know del T F is equal to I times K F times molality, so I की value जब यहाँ पे सबसे ज़्यादा रहेगी, वहाँ पे depression freezing point भी सबसे ज़्यादा रहेगा, तो largest freezing point depression कहाँ हो जाएगा? Okay, largest freezing point depression will be D. Okay, is that understood? I hope everybody has understood how to assess such questions. These questions are pretty easy. ये कभी-कभार question examination में दिए जाते हैं और इसको करना भी बहुत आसान है, ठीक है? चलिए. Let's take the next question. Which of the following will show the maximum vapor pressure at 300 Kelvin? Maximum vapor pressure at 300 Kelvin. Think carefully, okay? Think carefully and then solve. Yeah, Sumita, please ask your doubt. Uh, B, okay. Okay, what is the meaning of maximum vapor pressure? Again, what happens when we dissolve a solute? When any solute is present with solvent, vapor pressure decreases. Okay? Vapor pressure decreases. If solute, if solute amount is increased, vapor pressure will be further decreased okay vapor pressure will be further decreased now if i look at these four choices yahan pe likha gaya hai maximum vapor pressure maximum vapor pressure means minimum solute okay minimum solute Boiling point पे जाने की जरूरत नहीं है. Maximum vapor pressure means minimum amount of solute is present. So minimum amount of solute को कैसे निकालेंगे? I should be minimum. I should be minimum. Okay. Now this let's say solution is made in water. Then this will dissociate. This will dissociate this will dissociate and this will also dissociate but what about this one there will be no dissociation as such okay so minimum jahan pe zyada particles rahenge wahan pe vapor pressure utna hi niche gir jayega if particle numbers increase vapor pressure will decrease so in which case particle number is less jahan pe dissociation nahi ho raha hai so answer should be a okay answer should be a clear is that understood so remember that if the number of particles look at the language of the question maximum vapor pressure means minimum solute and think on those lines okay yeah a hi hona chahiye okay a will be the right answer. Let's look at next question. One mole each of urea, glucose and sodium chloride is dissolved in one liter water. Equal osmotic pressure will be produced by the solutions of. Let's understand the question. Question is that 
आई हैव थ्री सोल्यूशन ये वन लीटर वाटर हमने लिया है वन लीटर वाटर वन लीटर वाटर इन दिस फर्स्ट वन आई हैव डिजोल्व यूरिया इन दिस आई हैव डिजोल्व ग्लूकोज एंड इन दिस आई हैव डिजोल्व एन ई सी एल ओके इन दिस आई हैव डिजोल्व एन ई सी एल नाउ आई हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इन विच केस इक्वल ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर विल बी प्रेजेंट ना ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर कैलकुलेट करने का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है पाई इज इक्वल टू सी आर टी पाई इज इक्वल टू सी आर टी एंड सी बट इफ आई इंट्रोड्यूस द वेंट ऑफ फैक्टर आई विल राइट इट एज आई टाइम सी आर टी सो पाई इज इक्वल टू आई टाइम सी आर टी नाउ इक्वल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इज टेकन सो सी इज गोना बी इक्वल पाई वुड बी एलाइक ओनली वेन आई इज इक्वल पाई विल बी एलाइक ओनली वेन आई इज इक्वल तो आई कहां पर इक्वल होगा जहां पर चीजें डिसोसिएट नहीं करेंगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूरिया एंड ग्लूकोज इसमें नहीं राइट आंसर शुड बी बी यूरिया एंड ग्लूकोज वेरी गुड सम्राट यार रोहित आप पूछ लीजिए नो इशूज ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर लेट्स टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज स्लाइटली लेंदी सो ट्राई टू सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस आई एम नॉट गोना गिव यू द फाइनल आंसर आप लोग इसका फाइनल आंसर निकाल के कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख सकते हैं I will reply in the comment section that whether your answers are correct or not. Okay? Sodium का symbol एन ए किसने रखा आई रियली डोंट नो मैम लेकिन बहुत अच्छा सवाल आपने पूछा है आई नीड टू सर्च फॉर दैट चलिए क्वेश्चन इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम ऑफ सी एच टू एफ सी ओ एच इज डिजोल्व इन फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ वॉटर सो मास ऑफ सोल्यूट इज गिवन एज 19.5 पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स ओके नाइनटीन पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स नाउ वॉट इज द मॉलिकुलर वेट मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट इज सेवेंटी एट ग्राम क्लियर मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज गिवन एज फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम और आई कैन राइट पॉइंट फाइव के जी डिप्रेशन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑब्जर्व इज वन डिग्रीज सो हमें निकालना क्या है ओके हमें निकालना क्या है कि वॉट इज वैंट ऑफ फैक्टर वॉट इज वैंट ऑफ फैक्टर सो वैंट ऑफ फैक्टर विल बी रिटर्न एज सिंस इट इज डिप्रेशन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट द फॉर्मुला इज डेल टी एफ विच इज इक्वल टू के एफ times molality and i will include i will include the term i over here which talks about the vant hoff factor so del tf is equal to 1 which is equal to i times kf which is given as 1.86 and molality will be equal to 19.5 upon 78 divided by 0.5 ओके क्लियर सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई दैट यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम हियर आई की वैल्यू आपके पास क्या आ रही है आई की वैल्यू यू आर गेटिंग इट एज 1.07 कैन एनीबडी एल्स वेरीफाई कैन एनीबडी एल्स वेरीफाई what is the value of i in this case because i is given over here uh, you use a calculator okay so you're getting the value of i is 1 point this show it's not 2 pallavi no it's not 2 you guys it's not 2 aap dekh ke nahi yahan pe nikalne ko bola gaya hai so we'll have to use this equation okay it cannot be 0.93 it 
if it is dissociation see acetic acid in water will uh, sorry fluoroacetic acid in water will undergo dissociation so dissociation may i ki value one se zada hi rahegi it cannot be less than one okay it cannot be 0.93 it cannot be 0.93 it has to be more than one if it is okay so let's say we take it as 1.07 okay 1.07 let's say Murari is telling that he has solved it using the calculator so I will take I as equal to 1.07 so 1.07 what is the degree of dissociation? What is the degree of dissociation? Degree of dissociation kaise nikalenge? This is CH2F COOH which is changing to form CH2F COO minus plus H plus ye banega. Okay. For this I will write it as 1 0 0 1 minus alpha this will be alpha and this will be alpha so i will be written as 1 plus alpha by 1 or 1.07 is equal to 1 plus alpha so alpha becomes equal to 0 0.07 okay your formula direct use karna aap use kar lijiye i don't use a formula directly because i don't want to remember formulas okay okay it's not necessary to remember formulas it is important that you know the basics so that no matter whatever question comes you can solve the question in a free hand manner okay clear so alpha will come as to be 0.07 now the next part is calculate a dissociation constant of acid now dissociation constant nikalna isme ionic equilibrium ka question in one guza diya kaise isko solve karenge so this comes as to be 0 0.07 this is 1.07 dissociation constant of acid remember uh, if i write ch2f cooh ch2f co minus plus h plus okay i would write if the concentration for this is c this will be written as c1 minus alpha this will be written as c alpha this will be written as c alpha so ka will be equal to c alpha square by 1 minus alpha okay c alpha square by 1 minus alpha what is the value of c Concentration of Nikal is the mass moles is given 19.5 upon 78. Assuming that 500 gram of water is equal to 5 ml of water, 500 ml of water, this will be 1 upon 2. Alpha value is 0 0.07 square, 1 minus 0 0.07. This will be the value of. Okay, alpha ko neglect aap karna chaate ho kar sak. If you want to neglect, alpha is not very small. Okay, alpha is not very small. Even if you neglect it, alpha will be equal to root over k by c. बहुत ज़्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा आपके calculations में. You will not get a very massive difference. Clear? You can't. You will not get a very massive difference you can use this equation but alpha is not very small okay very small ka matlab hota hai ki 0.00007 aisa agar ho gaya this make alpha is negligible as compared to one it's not negligible i cannot say that it is negligible okay so this is the way to calculate the three questions is tarah questions aapke subjective examination mein ncrt mein aa sakte hain similar questions aapke je mein bhi puche ja sakte hain okay it, now a third question can be given uh, Murari if you are calculating it as, like that Chalo, kisi ne calculate to kiya 2.63 times 10 raised to 
शुड बी माइनस थ्री चेक कीजिए अपना सोल्यूशन ओके सो यार देखो क्वेश्चन सॉल्व आप खुद से कर सकते हैं मेरा काम है आपको डायरेक्शन देना एक टीचर का काम सिर्फ होता है आपको दिशा दिखाना मेहनत आपने करनी होती है ठीक है मैं आपको क्वेश्चन सॉल्व भी करवा दूंगा लेकिन एग्जामिनेशन में हमेशा न्यू क्वेश्चंस ही आएंगे ठीक है नाउ अ फोर्थ क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी गिवन ऑन दिस टाइप ऑफ पैराग्राफ इज दैट यू कुड बी आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट द पी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन यू कुड बी आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट द पी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन so ph of the solution will be equal to minus log of h plus ion concentration which is minus log of c alpha h plus ion concentration is what c alpha to so, concentration ka value kya hai 19.5 upon 78 times 1 by 2 and uh, c value is 0.07 The negative log of this will be the value of pH. Okay, the negative log of this will be the value of pH. Okay, चलिए let's move ahead. Okay, so <clears throat> this question is your homework. Question is point zero one molal solution point. 01 molal solution aqueous solution of K3FeCN6 freezes at 0.062 degree celsius what is the apparent degree of dissociation so you have to calculate alpha over here now can you tell me what will be the value of i okay what will be the value of i dekho je main mein bahut tarah ke question aate hain aapne sare tarah ke question solve karna chahiye you should attempt All types of question, whether it is difficult, easy, subjective, objective, कुछ भी तरह के question आ, आ, आ सकते हैं And it is becoming very competitive as well. Yep. So somebody answered very good. K3 FeCN6, the I value will be equal to four because K3 FeCN6 will dissociate to give three K plus ion and FeCN6 three minus ion. So the I value will be equal to four. Using that in the equation. try to calculate the value of <clears throat> try to calculate the value of degree of dissociation so please do solve this question this is the homework for you guys and with this we end the session over here today please do join us for the next session which will be on non ideal solutions a topic which everybody is like very confused about because नॉन आइडियल सोल्यूशन के ग्राफ्स जो होते हैं वो बहुत लोगों को समझ में नहीं आते हैं वॉट इज एजियोट्रॉपिक मिक्सचर कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करना है प्लीज डू जॉइन अस इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब प्लीज डू स्प्रेड द वर्ड प्लीज डू स्प्रेड द वर्ड दैट बी द गुड कम ऑफ द वीक ओके सो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब प्लीज करना नहीं भूलिए प्लीज टैप द बेल आइकन एज वेल एंड विद दिस I saw of those. I may take leave. Please do join us in the next session, which will be on non-ideal solutions and azeotropic mixtures. Okay, practice कर लिया. Question कहाँ से करे? N अवस्थी is the good is a good book. N अवस्थी से आप कर सकते हैं. ठीक है? चलिए. Bye bye guys and have a lovely time ahead. Bye bye.